We're going to continue our lectures now on the Wilhelms, which we were looking at before. Um, what I'm going to do first is, though, to tell you that the, the, the uh, Helmut Wilhelm lectures that are first in this book, which I just showed you, uh, has all of these topics, and I'm going to tell you what they are. First, origins, the concept of chains, the two fundamental principles, the trigrams and the hexagrams, the tri hexagrams Chin in Kuhn, that is the first two in the Book of Changes, the Ten Wings, the later history of the Book of Changes, and the Oracle Book. Now those are all in here. But in addition to that, I have another book, which is from the uh, Bollinger series, uh, papers from the Iranos yearbook number three, and in this one, Man and Time in the Universe, Wilhelm has an, uh, a, uh, a lecture article in here as well, which is called The I Ching, Time in, Time in the I Ching, which is uh, very, very good and very, very interesting. Uh, it has a lot to do with uh, the concept of time in the Book of Changes, that's what he calls it. A lot to do with Leibniz and how the influence of the Book of Changes came upon him. But time, the concept of time. So that's in addition, this is in addition to those that we have in this particular book. Also, I when we get to uh, Richard Wilhelm, his father's items, um, here are the uh, ones in, in his uh, section of the book. Uh, the whole thing is, the entire thing is called Lectures on the I Ching, Constancy and Change. Now here is what's in there, an introduction. Opposition and Fellowship. The Spirit of Art According to the Book of Changes. Constancy in change, death and renewal. And then there are notes and an index. Now, what is quite interesting in that one, for me especially, is the spirit of art, according to the Book of Changes. So you would wonder, what does art have to do with the Book of Changes in any way? You know, that's very interesting. But another thing that you will find in this same chapter of course, which is also quite interesting to me, is um, the spirit of music. So there you have art in one section, followed right away by music in the next section. So these are quite interesting and give you an idea of the depth of material from Richard Wilhelm and his son Helmut Wilhelm in this book. This is a combined book. These were originally available each as a separate book, but now in this one, they are combined. Of course, this comes from uh, Princeton University, where most of the material is. In fact, that's where I got my first book on the I Ching, from Princeton University. And uh, this one here, I happened to get from Amazon as a special deal. Uh, because the concept of time is not just in the book of changes here, but it's in the concept of time in all kinds of places in the world, in all kinds of religion. And it, it's one thing that's uh, fascinating and, and all by itself. So this gives you some clue about the wonderful depth of work that Richard Wilhelm, and his son Helmut did with the I Ching. Anyone who has a chance to read any of these lectures will be greatly renewed in knowledge and understanding.